Hello everyone, my name is Manosha Kalwing from the Department of Physics, MSc third semester of Assam Don Bosco University. I am going to explain physics for class 12 where the name of the chapter is Electronic Devices and the topic is about logic gates. Now let us talk about the logic gates. The term logic is usually used to refer to a decision-making process. A logic gate makes logical decision regarding the existence of output depending upon the nature of the input. So we can define that a digital circuit with one or more input signal but only one output signal is called a logic gate. Logic gates are therefore the fundamental building blocks of the digital system. In terms of binary language, when both the inputs are high, the output is also high. In order to show that the condition of the input and the output of a logic gate in the binary form, we have to show it in a truth table. So, a truth table lists all the possible combination of inputs and the corresponding outputs. So, all logic gates should obey the truth table. Now we've come to the types of logic gates. We can see that there are several logic gates that are used to perform operation in digital system. But the common ones are OR gate, AND gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, and NOR gate. Here OR gate, AND gate, and NOT gate are the basic gates. They are called basic gates since with the help of these gates only, we can form the basic circuit. Now let us see what is an OR gate. An OR gate is a logic gate that has two or more input but only one output. However, the output Y of an OR gate is low when all the inputs are low. Whereas the output of Y of an OR gate is high if any or all the inputs are high. In an OR gate, we can see that the output of an OR gate attains the state 1 if one or more input attains the state 1. In expressing the logic gates, we need the Boolean expression, um, the algebra that uh, used to symbolically describe the logic function is called Boolean algebra. Here we can see that the Boolean expression for our gate is A plus B is equal to Y, where the positive sign in Boolean algebra refers to the logical or function. Here we can see the logic sum symbol and the truth table of an OR gate. Here uh, we can see that there is um, a symbol of an OR gate. There is a uh, two input that is input A and input B. And here we have the output Y is equal to A plus B. Uh, um, in the truth table we can see uh, the that there is an input and the output. Here we have um, A and B are the two input and Y is equal to A plus B is the output. We can see that when um, both the inputs are uh, zero, we have the output is also zero. Which means that uh, if both the inputs are low, we have a low output. Also, if um, one uh, input is low and the other is high we have a high output and last we can see that if both the inputs are high we also have a high output it is clear from the, this truth table that for OR gate the output is high if any or all the inputs are high the only way to get a low output is by having all the inputs low
Now let us come to the AND gate. An AND gate is also a logic gate that has two or more input but only one output. Here we uh, can see that the output of an AND gate is low when all the inputs are low. But the output of an AND gate is high if all the inputs are high. We can see that the Boolean expression for an AND function is A dot B is equal to Y where the multiplication dot stands for the AND operation. Uh, now we can see the logic symbol and the truth table of the AND gate. Here we have the symbol of an AND gate where there is two input that is input A and B and the output is Y is equal to A dot B. Here we have a um, the truth table, the input and the output uh, also, we can see that there are two input and one output where uh, as I have already said that if uh, both the input are low, the, the output also will be low. Um, uh, in, the, in the case where the input is zero, where one of the input is zero and one of the input is one, the output will also be zero. Uh, and uh, in the last case, we can see that um, when uh, both the inputs are high, we have a high output. Here we come uh, to discuss about the NOT gate. The NOT gate or the inverter is uh, the one of the simplest of all the logic gates. That is, it has only one input and one output where the output is opposite to that of the input. The NOT gate is also called the inverter because it inverts the input. So we can see that the Boolean expression for the NOT gate is given by y is equal to a bar, uh, where the bar above the input a represents the inversion. Now let us see what is an OR gate. An OR gate is a logic gate that has two or more input but only one output. However, the output Y of an OR gate is low when all the inputs are low. Whereas the output of Y of an OR gate is high if any or all the inputs are high. In an OR gate, we can see that the output of an OR gate attains the state 1 if one or more input attains the state 1. In expressing the logic gates, we need the Boolean expression, um, the algebra that are uh, used to symbolically describe Now let us come to the AND gate. As the name suggests, it is a combination of the AND gate and the NOT gate. Or in other words, uh, the, the, we can say that the output of the AND gate is connected to the input of the NOT gate. Clearly, the output of a NAND gate is opposite to that of the AND gate. So the Boolean expression for the NAND function is given by y is equal to a dot b bar. So to perform the Boolean algebra operation, first the input must be added and then the inversion is performed. Here we can see the logic symbol of a NAND gate that is a combination of the AND gate and the NOT gate. Uh, the uh, here we have to note that the uh, small bubble on the inverter is, uh, is the symbol that represents the inversion. As uh, I have uh, explained that the, the AND gate has uh, two input and one output. So uh, the truth table shows that there is uh, two input and one output. Uh, that is, um, if we have uh, two input, that is uh, one input is zero and the other input is zero, the output will be uh, conver converted. The uh, output of the uh, AND gate is converted and it will be one. So 
we have uh, here so when one input is zero the other input is one then the output will be one and then if both the inputs are one then the output will be zero we have uh, the last one that is the nor gate um, it is uh, similar to that of the nand gate mm, that is uh, it is a combination of the or gate and the not gate in other words the output of an or, or gate is connected to the input of a not gate clearly uh, the output of the nor gate is the opposite of the or gate we have the boolean expression for the nor function that is y is equal to a plus b bar Here we can see uh, the logic symbol and the truth table of the NOR gate. Um, this is um, the symbol for the NOR gate. We have two input and one output. It, uh, as I, can, I have already explained, that it, it is a combination of the OR gate and the NOT gate. So we uh, have the truth table that is um, we have two input and one output. Uh, here, uh, if both the inputs are zero, the output will be one. And if both the input is 1, the output will be 0. And if uh, any one of the input is 1, the output will be 0. So now we've come to the conclusion. Uh, so we can see that the logic gates are used to develop many integrated circuits or microchip in today's modern world. So the NAND gate and the NOR gate are known as the universal gate because why? We can construct all the three basic gates that is the OR gate, AND gate and the NOT gate using uh, the NAND gate and the NOR gate. So without um, the logic gates, this electronic world would be nearly incomplete. So that's all. Um, thank you.